Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to Exploring the World of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us back to the Wrath of the Lich King expansion, where we're going to be exploring the Out of Bounds area of Ankahet, the Fallen Kingdom of the Nerubian Empire. And uh, I'm excited to go take a look around. I hope you guys are excited to explore with me. There are a ton of death walls in this place, so I am doing my absolute best to um, figure out how to get out of bounds and to be able to show you guys and everyone the surrounding area and to see what exactly is hiding outside the walls of Ankahet. Um, This is a really awesome looking aesthetic dungeon, so it's going to be a lot of fun to break out and to check out the surrounding area. Now, before we get out of bounds and before we do our out of bounds adventure, I got a very special commentary for you guys all today um before we begin one of my very good youtube friends is going to be giving us some history and background of the dungeon and uh, he's going to be telling us some lore so i'm excited come and join us as we go explore the Ankahet dungeon hey everybody jedi warlock here just dropping into Ankahet alongside nathan to give you all some insights into what we are seeing here today as well as some of the lore of this dungeon Ankahet, also known as the Old Kingdom, is one of the core pieces of the forgotten Nerubian Empire of Ajul Nerub. This region was first seen in Warcraft 3 during the Frozen Throne expansion, but here in Wrath of the Lich King, Blizzard really expanded on the art direction and gave us a lot of new visuals to explore. Compared to the icy, spider-infested tunnels of the Upper Kingdom, here in Ankahet, we see a much more expansive zone map with the regal, towering spires of the Nerubians at its center. This was once the heart of Nerubian civilization, as evidenced by the subzone names Hall of the Conquered Kings and Fallen Temple of Ankahet, giving us some clues that this area was of utmost importance to the Nerubians before their fall to the Undead Scourge. The temples and walkways you traverse throughout this dungeon were once rather opulent, but are now tainted by spiderwebs, scourge, and old god forces. The massive darkened temples on the margins of the zone could just be extra details, but the unfinished doorway in the northern part of the map could also hint they once played a much more significant role in the dungeon. But I think most of us here today are more concerned with what we can find outside of these boundaries. Looking, flying, jumping, or glitching over the edges, we start to see some amazing things. An entire underground landscape reveals itself. Glowing mushrooms and fungal vines punch through the darkness, spreading over gargantuan stalactites and stalagmites. Cold, dead lakes sit at the bottom of the world, but not far away, a river of lava extends into the depths, clashing with water and great plumes of steam. Compared to most other underground dungeons that are just passages of varying sizes, Ankahet has a full map underneath, a full basement layer that is seen, but not usually reached by most players. There is one final thing I want to point out today. Everything you're seeing down here at the lowest layer of the map was once supposed to be an entire playable zone. Ajul Nerub was planned to be the first subterranean zone in WoW, all the way back in 2008, but Blizzard didn't quite have the time or technology to make it work with the rest of Northrend, so they condensed it into two five-person dungeons that we know today. In The War Within, the new zone Ajkahet actually comes close to replicating this environment, 15 years after the original plan. Though it didn't quite work out how Blizzard might have intended, this underworld gives us a glimpse into what could have been in Wrath of the Lich King all those years ago, and hopefully in this video, you're able to witness some of these buried details. That'll do it for me here today. Thanks for having me. And with that, I'll pass it back to Nathan. Uh, for right now, I'm going to be showing you guys how to how, how I actually break out of this dungeon. And uh, there's actually a credit that goes to an ATN uh, community member. Um, I will put that in the comment section below and I'll give them credit for the out of bounds of the dungeon because they were the first ones to break out in the community. And I'm going to be showing you how I get out. I don't know how they got out. <laughs> but uh, right here, I'm actually at the entrance over here by the Hall of the Conquered Kings. Right here in the beginning of the dungeon. You can actually just turn around and jump right outside the map here. Uh, if I can land it. Yep, we just want to get right on top of here. Oops, I fell. Let's do that one more time. Get on top of here. And then basically, you're already out of the dungeon, which is really awesome. Um, now... 
this dungeon's going to be a little tricky to explore because there is a ton of death walls and i mean a ton of death walls and i have not found an exactly really good escape yet out of the dungeon so i'm still looking and playing around with things but if we fly through this way over here we can actually fly through the caverns here because they're all actually just the part of the map and they're just like a big smoke and mirror effect uh with the outside and one of the things i really want to get to of this map out of bounds is uh to go explore the surrounding basement area um if i can get down there if i can't get down there we're gonna have to just uh listen from above <laughs> And just gotta uh take our time with doing some of the commentary here but it's this is definitely not an easy dungeon now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drink a stinky bright potion that we normally do so that we can light up this surrounding dungeon around us and get a better view of what's actually here now as jedi had mentioned um this is the part of the nerubian fallen kingdom that uh, was supposed to be a lot bigger than it is but uh blizzard had actually scrapped a ton of it um and we were actually going to see this kingdom play out a lot more in the wrath expansion but unfortunately it looks like they ran out of time now one of the things i really want to get to is i want to get to this structure over here to go explore that out of bounds and see what's actually there this is the main dungeon right here that we can get out of but uh, if I fly anywhere out this way or that way, I die. So I'm having a little bit of a difficult time with this one. Um, but we're just going to take a look around and see what we can explore outside the map here. So let's actually go take a look around the backside. And let's go see the interesting things that this dungeon has to offer. Now, what's really interesting is actually the edge of the map or the game space is actually back here. You can see uh, the game and the dungeon here is just built on like this giant square that's surrounding the map. And we're kind of just like in the middle of the square here. Uh, so there's actually these cliff sides that are hanging out back here. And I've been wanting to get to them. But um, let me show you guys an example here. If I fly out this way. And I'm going to see how far I can actually get out. Um, because I haven't been very successful yet with exploring outside this map. I really want to get back here so that we can kind of walk around, but I have a feeling we're going to die here in a minute. And uh, sadly, I think if we can just get past the death walls over here, I think we could do okay, but nope, I lied. <laughs> so there you have it. So that is what I'm talking about. Anywhere you fly around this map, you basically are going to end up dying. So I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to get out as far as we can flying outside the map with our out of bounds tactics that we usually use, right? With gliding and doing fell rushes and doing a um, vengeful retreat as well. And uh, we're just gonna have to talk about the surrounding area. So like I was mentioning before, you can already see the out of bounds game space right in the back here. You can see kind of a lot of undeveloped land back here that's just holding the backside of the dungeon. So Blizzard does do a great job at um, making it alive and known with how the dungeon is set up with the smoke and mirror effect that they do of the uh, statues and making it look so real of the old kingdom and they do a great job of making it look like you're actually in the caverns below here under uh, northern so it's really great to see all this out of bounds here but i do love that they do kind of keep this in the back here so you can already see that uh, the places that you're never supposed to see to begin with right <laughs> that the developers never intended you to see and uh, it's really awesome to see how they work with this game space. And uh, I'm going to be showing you another place where I actually get out of bounds. And it's going to be up here by Elder Nadox. After you kill him, you can go up here into this little area way up above here. And it seemed like there was supposed to be another passageway going into a door. But it is blocked off. Um, essentially, you can get on top of here just like we did right in the beginning. And you can get up here and you're essentially already out of bounds again, right? I think we might be able to flip up there. Um, so we're going to try it out. We're going to do a double vengeful retreat. And I think we have the talent to do it, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to line ourselves up with the area here. And we're going to backflip onto the place. So we're going to do this. Nice. We made it. Look at us. Hmm. We're so good. 
So we might not even have to do the trick. Um, I can show you guys a trick either way, but uh, I wanted to try this first. So like I was telling you before, this map is a little tricky to explore. It's not easy in the sense at all because uh, Blizzard has really protected the map really well. There we go. Okay, so this is where I actually wanted to get to. Perfect. So you can see that you can actually walk inside the architecture here and the building, which is really awesome. Don't go too far out because you'll go back inbound to the map. And where I want to get to is over there. I want to go explore that area and see if we can at least go check it out. Um, that's okay. So you just fall through that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to head down here. And we're going to see if we can go vengeful retreat over there. And I think we can make it. I think. What well, we might not be up high. I wanted to get up here, honestly, but I don't know if I can get up there. It looks like you just fall through the map or fall through the structure. But we're going to attempt it. We're going to try to get over here. If we fail it, we'll redo it. And I'll show you guys how to do that wall climbing structure I was telling you about with the glitch. Um, so we're going to line ourselves up. And then we're going to attempt this. I don't have any slow fall. Oh, I do have the sea mist potion. Hmm. Maybe I'll pop that once I do this. Okay. Let's try this out. Three, two, one, go. I, I think we can make it. Barely. Maybe. Ah. Shoot. We were so close. Wow, we're actually going pretty far, though. Here we go. All right. Not doing too bad yet. I think I'm going to get rid of the... And we died. <laughs> well, we were close to the structure. So maybe you can't actually get on top of the structure anyways. I guess you just fall directly through it. Well, that's sad. A lot of these structures are just for looks and not actually to walk upon. They're not stable, I guess you could say. Or um, you can't actually walk on them. But you do get this awesome view of the lava and everything below. And you can kind of see the how the structures are made in the back here. So it's definitely going to be a different video, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I know this is not easy to do with Out of Bounds, so I do apologize. But maybe someone already knows how to escape this map a lot easier than I do. And I would love to learn. So if you have that, let me know. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back again. And I wanted to give you this awesome shot of under the last boss room for Harold. It's pretty awesome to see under the floor here and you can see where I broke out of right over there with my seesaw. I was able to make myself big and to fly under the floor. Uh, this is one of the one of the places you can actually break down on the floor here and check things out. And I haven't died yet, fingers crossed, because I think once you go below or out of the map completely, like dropping off the ledge over here, then you'll die. But it looks like you can fully explore right here, which is really awesome. And you get this great view of the how everything's kind of made of this beautiful shot here of uh the last boss room and you see like the uh the person you received the quest through they're like making remarks and all that you know to rally together and to take back the old kingdom and all that so i don't know it's just an awesome scene you do get this awesome shot in, below the floor and uh this is one of the out of bounds places you can do so pretty great to see this now I'm going to move forward. I'm going to go see if we can break out over here. And let's go take a look. Now I need to take off our Vicarral drinking horn. We are back in um, Havoc. So we're good. And let's go take a look this way. We might actually just die because we're going back out of the map here. But as you can tell, I just walked back in. So there you go. I was underneath that whole structure. And there's actually the end of the dungeon there. So what we may be able to do is because we're already this far out, we may be able to just fly out that way. So let's go take a look and see if we can do it. Ah, that's death wall. Yeah, see, everything's a death wall in this dungeon. So this is gonna be a tough one to do, and it already is, so I do apologize, like I said, but uh, Blizzard has really just, man, smacked down on this dungeon with death walls, and it's very unfortunate because it's very hard to explore outside the map because it'd be awesome to show you guys. So, I'm going to keep going at it, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. I want to say thank you so much for joining me on this video. I want to say a special thanks to Jedi Warlock for doing awesome commentary, as he always does. 
if you guys haven't uh subscribed yet to jedi warlock's channel i will put his channel in a link to the uh comment section below the video and uh please go subscribe like his videos he does awesome awesome wow lore videos and theories and just a lot of fun to watch he releases uh about once a week uh, from what i've seen or every couple weeks and uh, he'll he'll release a video and just do a lot of awesome stuff there so go 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 he's been a big supporter and uh, i just want to say thank you to him so much for helping me out and you know uh, getting my channel out there on youtube and he, he's just he's just been awesome so go support jedi warlock I want to thank you guys for joining me on the Ankahet Adventure with the Jedi. Um, this dungeon is a beast, and it is not easy, as you can see, to break out. Of. I mean, it's pretty easy to break out of. It's just getting anywhere outside the dungeon has been a big pain. So, um, you know, if you guys have a chance and you come out here and explore the dungeon, you're able to break out. I would love to know how you get past the death walls. But there is just death everywhere, all around the outside of the dungeon. Blizzard definitely uh, demon hunter out of bounds proof this place, <laughs> I guess you could say. And uh, they really did not make it easy to explore. So, but anyways, guys, as always, my name is Nathan. I want to say thank you for joining me in this out of bounds adventure. I will catch you on the next one. Take care.